Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Wix Studio workspace. Let's go ahead and check it out. So when I first opened up Wix Studio, this is basically the page that you land on. You're basically on a discover page, which has a bunch of tutorials that you can watch and learn more about Wix Studio platform. And then if you scroll down, there's even more things you can explore, latest updates, and you can even check out some of their pre-made templates that you can use on Wix Studio. Over here in the top right, of course, you can create a brand new website, which we'll do in just a minute. But over here on the left-hand side, you can see your site. So you can come over here and it already looks very familiar to the old layout of the My Sites dashboard. So it already should look pretty familiar to you. Underneath that, we have custom templates. So if you have a website that you seem to use for a lot of clients, you can actually set this up as a custom template. Now, what I will say is right here, you can see it's exclusive for Wix Studio. So you can't have classic editor templates or Editor X templates. Now, if you aren't aware already, Editor X will no longer be available after a few months. All Editor X websites will transition over to Wix Studio. So, if you already have a Editor X website, eventually it's going to migrate to Wix Studio and you can turn that into a template. However, for classic editor websites, you will not be able to do it. Underneath that, we have custom apps. So, this is basically where you create your Wix blocks. You can even upload your apps to the Wix app marketplace and be able to generate a little extra revenue if people install your apps on their websites. Underneath that, we have client success. So this is basically going to be client reports and client kits. If you don't know what a client kit is, this is basically a way for you to hand over any deliverables besides just the website. So if you did their branding, you could upload their logo files, their branding kits, and you can even upload tutorials on how to edit their website. This is actually really cool and we'll take a look at this in just a few minutes. Underneath that we have client reports. So this is basically just a way for you to at a glance check the analytics of your client's websites. Underneath that you have billing and subscriptions. This is probably something you're already pretty familiar with. You know, you can see your premium subscriptions, domains, emails, billing history, payment methods, and even vouchers. Nothing here has really changed. One thing I really like is the customer care tickets tab right here. So you can see all of your tickets that you have submitted, all of your ongoing ones, and you can even create a new one very quickly here as well. I actually really, really love this feature here in the new workspaces. Underneath that you have revenue share and marketplace. Now these I assume are exactly the same as the old partner dashboard. Now, I don't personally use the marketplace, so I don't really know too many differences between the old partner dashboard and the new one. So I really wouldn't be able to tell you much there. But underneath that, we also have team. So you can basically add roles or teammates. So or basically collaborators on your workspace. So if you run an agency, you can have other team members join as well. And then below that is just settings for your workspace, business info and Wix payment accounts. All of it is pretty simple, but I really, really do love the new layout. But like I was saying earlier, we'll go ahead and create a new site. We're on the Discover Wix Studio tab here, and we'll go ahead and create a new site. It'll allow us to start from a template or start from a blank canvas. I will say I really like this because more so with the classic editor, I feel like you had to go through like this giant questionnaire to get to the blank canvas. And I understand why that's the case for the classic editor, because it's trying to help the do it yourselfers just to kind of get them on the right track for their website. However, for professionals, when creating a classic editor website, you don't always want to choose a template. You just want to start from a blank canvas. So I really love the fact that we have this option right off the bat here, but just for fun, let's go ahead and see what templates they have. So once again, we can go ahead and choose a blank canvas or we can choose from some of their presets here. There's actually a lot here, but it is kind of funny. Like I definitely know this one right here and this one right here were actually editor X templates. So it's kind of funny seeing those same with this one, but I guess that's to show that editor X will be moving over. So I guess the editor X templates will also work here in Wix studio as well. Another option is wireframes. I find this kind of interesting. So you can actually choose from a wireframe. I like that. 
But we can just choose a template and press edit and it's gonna open up the Wix Studio for us. And there you go. You have a Wix Studio website ready to go for you. But let's head back over to the Wix Studio workspace. And I want to choose client success and client kits. I wanna kinda of show you this as well. So if we go ahead and press start now, it's gonna allow you to choose a site and press continue. Then once it opens, it's gonna show something that looks like this. So here you can upload your resources. So your PDFs, the branding files, or like your the logo files, video tutorials to teach your clients how to do small things like update CMS. Underneath that, we'll have your agency so you can display your details with your logo and details. Underneath that, you have your client details. Now, I do not have a site collaborator on this website nor did I transfer this to anyone. So the client is not listed here. But if I added site contributors or transferred the ownership to someone, then they could be listed right here. And the last thing that I'll show you is basically changing workspaces. So over here in the top left, we have a drop down where we can see our workspaces here. Right now we're just on the normal Wix fix one, but we can easily create a brand new workspace. We can title it, we can have a logo for it. So because I use my main account mostly for creating tutorials, but let's say I wanted to create one for client work. So I'll call this one client work and I'll create a workspace. And now it looks exactly the same, except I don't have any sites in this one because all of my sites are actually on my other workspace. And to be honest, I absolutely love this feature that we can create different workspaces and stuff like that. I actually really, really love it. And I'm so happy to have this feature. This has been something I've been wanting for years and they actually added it even without me like telling Wix that I wanted it or anything. Like I didn't submit a feature request. It's just here. So it's really cool to see this. So that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.